Stan Jubilisco here to talk a little bit more about the orbit of the Earth around the Sun and how it is an ellipse, not a perfect circle. In fact, it is an ellipse with the Sun at one of the foci of that ellipse. Right now, if you draw a line between the Sun and the Earth, the Earth's axis tilts at an angle that varies with respect to that line as the Earth goes around the Sun. The Earth is farthest from the Sun on or around July 6th of every year and closest to the Sun on or around January 4th of every year. That's right now. But as the years and the centuries and the millennia roll by, the perihelion, the Earth being closest to the Sun, and the aphelion, the Earth being farthest from the Sun, wander around the calendar. So in a few thousand years, perihelion uh, might occur in April or October, and aphelion uh, might occur in, well, October or April. <laughs> so, and, it, and so it goes. But the tilt of the Earth's axis with respect to a line between the Earth and the Sun always occurs at a point in the calendar called the solstice, which is on or around December 21st and June 21st. Right now those coincide very closely with perihelion and aphelion, but not quite. The solstice uh, is when the days are longest and the nights are shortest. It depends on which hemisphere you're in, whether it's the days or the nights that are long. But the angle of the Earth's axis with respect to that line is the greatest at a solstice, and that's about 23.44 degrees. Just a little information for you comparing the solstices to perihelion and aphelion. They're pretty close to coincidence right now. But that won't always be the case. Stan Jubilisco signing off. Until next time, so long.